What's going on guys? Welcome to your next tutorial in the Java series. What we're going to do is make our snazzy menu bar have a little bit more, uh, you know, snazziness attached to it. Uh, we're going to add some radio buttons to our menu and also a menu separator. So that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. Let's just jump into it. It's going to be kind of the same as setting up a radio button for a panel like we um, have done already, except this time it's going to be called J radio button menu item. And that's the type of variable. We're just going to call this RB1 for radio button one. We're going to add our imports, Shift Command O, and uh, then we're just going to set new, and then Control Space, and uh, a new radio button menu item. So pretty, pretty basic here. And here um, again, we can give it a title. So we're going to say um, Choice One, and there we go. Uh, we have one radio button set up. Again, we haven't attached it to our menu yet. But uh, we'll get to that in a second. We're just going to set up a net, another radio button, and so that will be choice two. Next thing what we want to do is we want to add these radio buttons to our menu. Um, again, just kind of the same method that we added both of our menu items. So we're just going to say first, which is referring to our first menu. We're just going to say add and then RB1 and first dot add RB2. And that will add both of our radio buttons. And let's just save this, run it. Um, but again, we haven't attached those radio buttons to be part of the same group, so we can select choice one. Next time we go to our menu, choice one selected, um, and then we can also select choice two. So if you guys want to have a radio, you know, radio buttons that have or choices, uh, you could do that as well. But if you wanted one or the other, we have to add these two to a group, and we do that the exact same way as when we, um, you know, worked with radio buttons uh, in our panel. So we're just going to say radio group. And we're going to call this group, set this equal to a new radio group, or I'm sorry, a button group. And also this was supposed to be button group as well. Um, so add those, add your imports. And then all we're going to do is we're going to add both of our radio buttons to that group. So we're just going to say uh, our variable name, which is group dot add. And then we're going to add our RB1 and now our group RB2. And again, this is just gonna allow us to be able to select our first radio button or our second radio button, not both, um, because now they're in the same group, so we can only pick one option within a group. The other thing that we wanna do is we wanna add a separator between you know our choices here and our radio buttons here. And how we do that is a simple line of code. We just say first, referring to our menu, and then we say add separator, shabam! we're good to go and that's pretty much it for this tutorial let's just run it show you guys what it looks like um, so we run this now and when we hit our menu as you can see this line right here is our our separator and we can choose either menu item 2 or menu item 1 and either or will be selected so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys thanks again for watching and have a good one